welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a bonus reading for Leo. Um, as a way for me to say thank you for all your um, continued love and support of my channel. Um, also, this will be for the last week of July and the whole month of August bonus, okay? I usually do my bonuses for like a month long thing as much as I possibly can when I, when I do them. So, just keep that in mind. Also... Oh, these are very, very, very general readings, so only take what resonates. If it's not your story, if it doesn't feel like it makes sense, don't try to make it, okay? Don't try to force it. Um, Crosswatcher, same thing. Um, also, Crosswatcher, I will be reading this from uh, the perspective of Leo, the best that I can. But also, too, um, the roles can be reversed, uh, Leo and Crosswatcher, okay? So let's see. Um... Keep in mind everything is subject to free will, your free will, and anyone or anything you are interjected, connected to currently in the past and or in the future, as well as the will of the divine. No one is free from the law of cause and effect. Let's see what is going on, Leo. Okay. You've been coming up in, um, you've been coming up in some readings lately, so I'll link them below. I've, I've saved them, so... You've been coming up uh, pretty strongly. So, and I'll also put your previous reading um, in the description box in the description box below as well. Okay. So, I feel like your your relationship, whether it's a long term commitment or um, a marriage of some kind, I feel like it's being tested right now. Let's see. All right, here we go. That's what I was, I'm feeling. It's being tested pretty heavily. You are actually being tested pretty heavily right now. And it could very well be even be your person, your partner. If you are in a connection, if you're not, then that this this mess, this mess really may not be for you. But listen on. Let's see. All right, Spirit, what's going on for Leo's, please? What's going on for Leo's? End of July, August 2021. Oh, happy birthday, Leo's. It's your season. Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune coming out sideways. So this is, for me, is like a 50-50 chance. It feels like it's blocking and it's in reverse, but I kind of feel like it's it wants to do like this. It wants to turn up, right? It wants to turn up right to move things forward. But it's not, it doesn't feel ready. It's not quite ready yet. Something has to take place in order for it to turn right side up. Okay. Anything else for Leo's, please? Now, remember, it could also go the other way. So, let's let's keep it positive and see if... Yeah. Let's hope that it goes right side up. Alright. Anything else for my Leo's, please? You're on the fence. There's something you're not sure about. It could be about an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. But there's something that is... If, so, if you're waiting on somebody to choose you... Someone may not be be someone may not be honest with you. Maybe they're not, they're not being honest with you right now, or or you're not being honest with them. But it's like maybe you feel like someone is keeping you on the fence intentionally, or to be intentionally cruel, or some form of not taking an action. There's something about not taking an action. Hmm. That's what it feels like. So it's not action. So if you don't know what to do, you don't know which, where, which, uh, how, how to proceed, you pause, you wait. So I feel like the universe is waiting on your answer or what it is you're trying to manifest, but you also have to put in the action towards it as well. Like you can, you can wish for something to happen forever if you want. If you're not taking those actions towards it, then you're relying too much on the divine to do the work. You got to take deliberate, dedicated, honest action. Um, here you are. Okay, so we have Leo. So strength card, Scorpio, death card, and we have the two of swords. A few things here. You could be done with a Scorpio. You could be done with Aquarius or Taurus. You could be done with a Gemini, a Libra, Aquarius. 
as well, or another Leo. So, this feels like the test. Actually, as I'm looking at this, the Wheel of Fortune, that's not sure yet. It can go up or it can go down. It can go in your favor or it can go not in your favor. Um, this is very slow. It's very slow moving for it to turn this way or to turn this way. So it feels like you're trying to have the strength to end something. You're making a decision to cut something out of your life or somebody else's. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, I don't know if you guys are trying to block. It, it almost feels like block out any disturbances, but also to make a decision. And you guys could be going splitting ways. But maybe it's like a long time coming, but, or... Or it could be to block out any more damn distractions. This is a battle. This is a choice between two opposing opposing forces. This this your your fire energy, your fixed fire energy. Scorpio is fixed water sign. You guys are two, the two opposing forces. You both are the two opposing forces. So it's like again, like I was saying, I'm not pencil. <coughs> it's like you guys. There's pressure. There's being there's pressure being put on this connection between two opposing forces. Two very different people. See how this is dark in color? This is very bright. You see, this also has the moon here. The moon card. I don't know if you can see that. But the sun is rising over the moon. See? The sun is starting to rise over a dark night. But that's the moon. That's the moon card. Or it could be the moon itself that's moon rising here get the hierophant here as well so there's something about commitment there's something about listening to your intuition or they need to listen to their intuition about a commitment then here you have the empress okay and leo so empress is taurus and libra energy this is leo your energy but she is um taming this person are you trying to tame a scorpio She is, I feel like this is, because you can tell it's a woman. She is like the the death rider, like Lady Death. Okay? But, but you guys compliment each other because you can't have the light without the darkness. You can't have the darkness without the light. You just can't. There's a commitment here. The sun is, I also feel like the sun is setting on any form of illusions here. But there's also, if it's the moon that's rising, there's a need to listen to the, your intuition or they do. But this is a test. This is, I feel like this is a very heavy test from the universe here. How will these two opposing forces, these two opposing forces bat, do battle? Okay. Can we tame ourselves? Can there also there could just be like an ending and the ending to holding back communication or being slow or being cruel. Okay. Anything else, please? I have to turn it. I'm gonna turn it up like this. Let's keep it positive. Let's see. Things are, will be moving forward, but it's gonna be at a snail's pace, though. It's not moving fast. Mm -mm, it is not moving fast. The divine has his hand in this to slow it down. I don't know why I keep getting this in my head. I feel like the divine is looking at a, a, a gladiator coliseum. And they are waging bets on who's going to win this battle. Or they're waging, not really putting these two against each other, but maybe. But also this can talk about having each other's back because you see how their backs are facing each other. This is about having each other's backs. Okay, as well. But this could also be, you know, the divine waging bets. Like, can they pass this test? Can these two, two opposing forces learn to manage? Because Queen of Cups here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Very loving, very nurturing here. Very moving, very very slowly though. It doesn't matter about gender. Also, what I'm seeing is like 
you guys have some form of destiny. This is like destiny for me. Either they are trying, the universe is testing this commitment or this relationship or whatever it is to see if it can withstand. Can they, can they deal with each other? Because these are very, very, very strong people. Very fixed signs. Very stubborn, very strong-willed people. Okay? Very powerful in their own right. Different. Very different. Very all opposite. The very opposite. But complimentary at the same time. Because a Scorpio needs a Leo's, uh, a Leo's optimism in some fashion. And a Leo, you, needs a Scorpio's, or Scorpio energy, doesn't have to be the, these signs, needs their realistic, they're very realist, they're very logical, very analytical people, very deeply spiritual, very uh, psychically gifted, but so are you. But also, they, they complement each other because sometimes... You need somebody, you, you know, you might need somebody to bring in the, a little bit of, hey, let's not, let's not be toxic, uh, uh, let's not have toxic positivity, okay? All right. What's the relationship between Knight of Swords, Reverse, and the Strength card? Someone doesn't want to fight anymore. This talks also about the Divine stepping in to bring more love and nurturing to this to stop fighting. Although they are waging bets. Okay, this is also for me like the justice card because she has the blindfold on. But it's like, who's going to do battle? All right, what's the Knight of Swords reverse and the strength card, please? What's the relationship, please? Yeah, seven of wands here. Very, there's a lot of needing to protect something. Maybe you feel like someone is very, very defensive. Um, but this is fire energy. This could be you. It is fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now remember, it doesn't have to be any of these signs. But there, there's a, you're trying, maybe you're finding the strength to try to protect her or him. This Queen of Cups energy. Protect this. Or to defend it. Or you feel like you have to, or you feel like this person is very defensive towards you or needing or trying to protect themselves. Or you feel like you have to defend something from happening. You need to protect. There's this, there's a, having the strength to just stand your ground here to bring balance here with the six of pentacles, defending, bringing some type of balance. The end, some, okay, but if you're dealing with a Scorpio, they want to end imbalance or inequality here. You see, they have three, they have one, they only get two, and there's the scales here. Things need to be more balanced out. Anything else, please? There needs to be balance here. You could also have, obviously you're Leo, but you could also have Scorpio in your chart as well. Also, this needs to having the strength to put the end to being of two minds about a situation. I also have, just as I look, I have the lovers here letting go of a lover, wanting peace and harmony, a fair fight here. There's something that's hidden though at a distance that's non committal and more options. Another two here. Okay. Gemini energy. And distance can be anything. It could be hundreds of miles away, another state, across the globe, or it can be down your street. Okay? Distance can be anything. It can be emotionally distant. So there could be, like, needing to end some type of emotional distance as well. For commitment, balancing out so there can be commitment, a celebration of coming together, making it stable. Okay? There needs to be stabi um, financial stability here, protecting financial stability. You want to, it feels like you want to provide some type of financial stability for this Queen of Cups. Or they to you. But here's the thing. Like, this Queen of Cups here is looking at her cup, but no one's taking her cup. Oh, 
when you put it putting either put it into the imbalance or put it in transform because the death card talks about an ending that brings a transformation and a rebirth okay there's a decision a very clear-cut decision that needs to be made about a commitment and balancing things out financially or balancing things out about this is about equal give and take reciprocity here in a commitment to create some form of stability here okay Anything else, please? Page of Wands. So communication or passion. This very lusty person. Um, this is communication. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. We go from one one to the seven, so that makes eight. So a lot of communication. They're either you are communicating with this person, but you guys aren't look you're looking at your wand, they're looking at their cup. Or vice versa, right? This is almost like an offer of passion, but at the bottom of the deck, I got an offer of commitment with the Hierophant here. But where's the passion, right? Where's the communication? Where's the, where's the attitude adjustments here, right? It feels like there needs to be some form of, like, communication about passion. This is a new, a new, a new uh, passion. This is a new passion for something, or... Maybe you're trying to get new passion for for this Queen of Cups or vice versa here, but that it, it feels one sided for some reason. It needs to be balanced. It's not balanced. Something's not balanced. I feel it. <clears throat> this is major test here. Yeah, someone's withholding love and affection here and passion. Someone's withholding love, and it's really starting. To, Look, if you can see this Queen of Cups face, she's she's looking at this cup, right? She's like, what's wrong with my cup? I give it. I'm giving it. But why can't I get a cup back? Kind of scenario. Male or female doesn't matter, guys. But there is somebody here who's withholding passion and sex. No equal give and take about passion here. No equal give and take in the emotions. Holding back love and affection and emotion and time. An investment. It needs to be balanced, yeah. Big five of wands reverse, not wanting to, wanting to have peace and harmony, a wish fulfillment as well. Communicating, there's a need for you to communicate your feelings to bring harmony and balance to a situation. See, you take five or take four from five, that's one, that's the ace of wands. Where's the passion? Where's the passion? There's something going on with that. So it's like somebody is holding back how they feel. Someone's holding back how they feel and their passion and or sex in order to not have an argument or fight to, so things can be at peace. But that's no way to, that's not balance. That's not balancing something out. It's withholding. Yeah, four of swords in reverse. So, <clears throat> excuse me. There is an impulsive action that's about to be taken. Okay, there is a, an impulsive action that you might be taking here soon or someone else's. This is very young energy, very, very impulsive. Let me sit with it. So, someone is about ready to take action. They have a lot of anxiety. Someone has a lot of anxiety and restlessness here. You might be getting restless with the situation. Or they are, maybe both. But someone has a lot of anxiety. It's like, this one has nine cups. This one only has one. This one has got their arms folded. So it's like, you're waiting, or this person is waiting. So, again, vice versa, is waiting for the other person to come in and to give, give, give. But there's no, your the arms are folded. There's no openness. There's no welcoming or receiving. You know what I'm saying? There's no reciprocity here. Anything else, please? So it's very, it feels very one-sided. And someone gets very defensive over this. You're protecting your emotions. You're not sharing them or they're not. Or passion. Getting anxious though. There's a sense of burnout here. Because there's no, only but what to keep the peace. But there's no love. There's still, there's no, sh there's no, there's no sharing. If it's about a wish fulfillment, you, your wish would be for it, for 
for things to communicate love and um, harmony. However, there's a sense of anxiety and restlessness about doing this because you don't want to, you feel like you're going to rock the boat, but there's no passion here and your the arms are folded, yours or theirs. Anything else for Leo, please? So that's not going to work, you know? It feels very, it feels like someone, that she's she looks mad because she's just looking at this cup and it's like, I have all this love to give, but you're you're not looking at them or they're not looking at you and they you have all these cups or they have all these cups and it feels like you just it feels greedy it feels very greedy energy withholding if it, it is yeah queen of wands here and we have two queens and then we have the knight of wands okay i see what's going on here now, this could be a same-sex relationship. doesn't have to be. Somebody here. I see what's going on. Okay, so. And this is why their backs are turned to each other. Now, originally I thought that they were looking out for each other, but I see that they're parting ways here, making the decision to part ways because, because, there's another person here involved in Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be you, but there's also this person here as well. This woman could have a kid. Someone's getting so restless here that they're seeking out attention from somebody else. They're, this is a very lusty person. This is someone who uses their wand all over town. This is someone who um, is a fuckboy. Someone's getting restless here because they're getting restless here. And I feel like it's this because this person is giving to this person, trying to keep the peace. But while withholding, not really giving much to anyone, could also be an Aries involved, a Virgo involved, a Taurus, Capricorn. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, strong Taurus energy. But here, someone is a player, you or somebody else. And this is why it's ending. Someone's making the decision to end. It's just, nope. Because at the center of this, someone's withholding love, affection, time, sex, passion, desire. Because the reason why they're holding back is because they're being giving it to somebody else. Could be you, could be somebody else. Meanwhile, they're giving hardly, this is like a lot of fire, a lot of passion. This is only a little bit for this person. But for this person, you're giving a lot to, or, or they're giving a lot to you. So it's not really, um, it's not really fair. We have the Aries here. So taking a leap of faith, trusting in the universe, learning to trust, but also doing whatever you want because you're not tied down to anyone not offering retracting the offer of commitment here to about working on it no longer wanting to work on it emotional outbursts or some form of emotional there could be two children three children involved we got three pages there could be three children involved there's no equal give and take here this is what waiting to receive return on your investment what seeds have you planted what do you plan on harvesting here? There's something that's going to be revealed here. Um, someone's going to get out of their head about regarding you. Now, we do have a true pair here. There could be a married couple, and then there's someone on the side. You might be leaving one person to go and be with somebody you feel like matches you. But does it really? Meanwhile, you're might be moving money around, or you're not giving to you're not giving to the current situation that you're in. You're creating more distance between the two because you're giving to somebody else here or somebody, a cross watcher could be doing this, Leo, creating a lot of confusion around healing because there's, has a lot of options, a lot of options. Here's another person, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They could have Aries, Sagittarius, Leo in their chart. They could have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in their chart, recovering, heartbreak, stability here. Now we have the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles is very abundant, very stable, very loving, very nurturing. But see how they're they're 
these two queens are both looking at what they have to offer and why are they not receiving it? They give it, why are they not getting it back? But we have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands here that are kind of looking at each other. So you might be leaving one situation, Leo, to go and be with somebody who you feel like is more of your match. But be mindful, though, you might actually get played here, okay? Or there's literally three women involved. If three women are three men involved, if it's not you, if it's you either have three women, depending on your preferences, or three men, or all the other scenarios I said, or um, your person does. Someone is literally going around town, giving, slanging, slanging the D, slanging the P, slanging the dick and the pussy, whatever, to everybody in town. Willy-nilly, reckless here, got so many options, not giving to really to any of them. I don't know what you're doing, but I hope that you're using protection. Okay, let me take these back. So, yeah. If you're if you're dealing with a Scorpio and you're doing this, good uh, I was just you, good luck. You're going to need it. You're going to need it because it'll be a war. There you are. Show me more of this King of Wands, please. Let me give a good shuffle. Show me more of this King of Let's look at Let's just look at the, let's look at your energy. Male or female, doesn't matter. You could be a woman taking on more masculine energy. You could be a, uh, a female Leo uh, dealing with a, a masculine Aries Leo Sagittarius. Or this could be a masculine Leo watching this. Whatever, it doesn't matter about gender, it's just the energy. So somebody here is very, very, a little bit of a player here, but very fiery, very passionate, very much a go-getter, very ambitious, likes to do all the things all the time. All right, show me this King of Wands. What is he really about? What is this King of Wands really about? Wants to win. That's you, Leo. Leo, you love to win. Like to have victories here. Okay. You want to you wanna have a victory and offering love here. But the Knight of Cups here, Cancer, Pisces, also could be Scorpio, but strong Cancer, Pisces, they, it's a fast-moving night. They don't stay very long. Tell me more about this um, King of Wands energy, please. They don't stay very long. They're in and out all the time. King of Wands, please. Well, here you are. I, I gave a shuffle. And I th eh, kind of came out sideways. I'm not really sure. So here we are again. So you could very well be dealing with a Scorpio. Very strongly here. All right. Anything else? So you're wanting, I feel like you want to, you want to have victory. You want to offer love. But I think you're trying to find the strength to end it, to be honest. If this is you. Heartbreak. Or to end heartbreak and betrayal. Pain. Or to end something and it's going to be very painful to do so. So you have a lot of decision that you need to make about what it is that you that you want. Because you had a lot of court cards. Okay. Yeah. Drama. Heartbreak and drama here. Competition. Rivalry. Competitiveness. Heartbreak. Options. Games being played. Heartbreak games. I feel like if you're dealing with a Scorpio, this Scorpio here is going to be the one who's going to end this shit. They're going to they're gonna end it. If, if, if it doesn't change. That's what I feel here. Okay. Let's see. Anything else, please? High Priestess in Reverse. Why are you... You think you... Again, you think that you're having victory by blocking out your intuition or trying to block out someone else's cancer pisces scorpio's intuition or you or yourself are not listening to your intuition at all and just giving your love and being very uh charming and uh, charismatic and attractive and uh, this is very much a flirt the knight of cups is someone who loves 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 to flirt it's like the prince charming here and it's like the proposal of a new love so you the devil here toxic codependent 
um, love addiction, drinking addictions, addicted to power, addicted to winning. You think that you're winning by blocking someone else's intuition. There's an obsession here. You might have an obsession with somebody. Another Leo, um, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn. You, this is holding back energy, but you're holding back. Maybe you're trying to hold back from something that was, to that is toxic or was toxic. Or maybe you're trying to hold back from temptation here. Maybe you're being tempted. That can be part of the test. Anything else, please? Hermit reverse, Virgo energy. But you're not going within, though, to gain some type of personal truth and clarity. This can talk about you're not seeing the light. You're not seeing the light. You're not seeing the toxicity. That, that whatever it is you're doing or whatever it is they're doing, this is repeating past mistakes. This is, I was withholding from temptation. I fell for it. I repeated the past mistake. And because of this, it, because of this happening, there's going to be an ending here. Ending to heartbreak and competition or drama. Now, this could have happened in the past, currently going on, or in the future. But there is a re there has been a repeat of a past mistake here. And that needs to stop. Whatever that is, that needs to end. So there can be healing. Okay, let's see. Anything else, please? Nine of Swords in reverse. So, putting an end to anxiety. Putting an end to mental torment. You're really not... You're, you're in your head, but you're not in your heart. You're not, going with, you're not going deep within to gain real enlightenment here about what it is that you got, whatever it is you're doing or going on or they're not. And it almost feels like, are you going... Are you leaving somebody to go back and marry an ex? Mm -hmm. But you're not listening to your intuition... Or this water sign isn't listening to their intuition and how toxic this is. And that you've you've given in to repeating. You were holding back. Now you've, you've given in to repeating past mistakes. Or maybe they have. Anything else, please? Nine of Wands. Yep. Boom. Bottom of deck. Ace of Swords. Truth has been spoken. Clarity is coming to the confused. Clarity is coming to a Scorpio. Secrets are going to be revealed, and a new leap of faith is going to be taken. Um, I feel like someone will just leave. Yeah. Taking action. Leaving. Staining, withholding their emotions here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, cutting anything out that no longer serves. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And pay, giving final judgment here. Final wake-up call. The truth is here. Truth has been spoken. So somebody here... It's still been playing games. We've got the causing all this heartache and competition and drama because they've been withholding love and affection. And someone is coming in to, to, end, to end that. All right, anything else, please? To, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of mint, you're, there's a lot of mind games here. You're block, you are literally obsessed. To, uh, you got, there's some form of addiction here. There's some form, it could be a drinking or drug or it could be. Sex addiction could be any kind of addiction, but there's a lot of fucking head games. You are literally obsessed with winning so much that you are manipulating somebody to play mind games. Or they are doing this to you in order to block out the intuition. So it could be vice versa. But we are looking at you. So the fighting, you're trying to, there's a lot of toxic fighting too. Like just somebody, it feels like just somebody who just always wants to be right. Yeah, no longer at a crossroads making a decision to make an offer here. A big, a new offer. There's a new offer, either you're giving or receiving. There's like a piece, I almost feel like a peace offering after a major conflict here. But it, it's thinking small here and plan stalling out about making an offer or giving a new offer or maybe even finances here regarding your work because 
there needs to be a transformation here. I feel like you're not surrendering. You're not surrendering to the transformation. You're withholding a lot. Yeah. Offer somebody a way out. Maybe you want to offer to a Virgo, but you want to end something. Yeah, I feel like you might want to make an offer financially to somebody. Like a big financial thing. Maybe you want to give them money. In order for it to end. Are you trying to buy somebody out of a relationship or a marriage? A, a commitment or a marriage? Or are you try I feel like you might be trying to buy somebody silence. If you're dealing with a Virgo here. A Virgo, maybe a Taurus or a Capricorn. You're paying them money after betraying them or them you to not talk about, to deaden, to, to deaden their, their speaking about something you've done. But there's some type of betrayal here. There's a very painful ending coming. And I feel like it's to this, it needs to be to this type of energy, this player bullshit. Okay. Because someone's sick of it. Someone's about ready to just... You could also be really... You could be really trying to manipulate somebody because you're worried that someone's going to get money and want to be single and end things with you as well. Or vice versa. Yep. Now we have Ten of Wands here in the upright. So it's a heavy burden. Whatever this is that you're doing or they're doing, whatever is happening here, it's a very heavy burden here. It needs to be dropped. Anything else, please? Whatever this burden is, or this, if it's if it's not ending the relationship, then it needs to be we end how this has been going. We make changes. We transform. We are honest. We, we stop betrayals here. Nine of Cups again. So you are literally holding. You're holding on to love. You are. You're. You feel like love's a burden with the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Cups here. But you're with. It's a burden because you're withholding. You're withholding love, but why? Why are you withholding love? See? You, a burden to love. It's a burden to have wish fulfillment, but you're holding back. You, know, I have all my nine cups. I don't need that one other cup. Okay. Anything else, please? So you're manipulating by withholding. Yep. Causing confusion. You have a lot of options here. You're holding a burden... And it's a burden holding all this love back and you're intentionally offering, only thing you're offering somebody's confusion and manipulation with the five of swords there and then the seven of cups, that's that's what it is. You're also offering making a lot of offers to other people. Okay, you or them. I mean again, like I said, you could be dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or this is you, male or female. Yep, we now we have the King of Pentacles, and then we have the Six of Swords Reverse. So, you're confused about an offer that was given to you about somebody wanting to come back, a uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, strong Taurus, somebody wanting to return back. You're keeping this hidden from somebody. Many spirit this cards. You're not telling this person, or you're there's a there's a lot you're not telling this person. You're holding back a lot. And by you holding back, you're creating a lot of confusion. And you feel like you're holding back an offer from someone, or you're holding back even finances, or you're holding back maybe you have a Taurus Virgo Capricorn in your chart, maybe. You're holding back a lot. Uh, or somebody else wants to return back to you from the past, wanting to come back home. They want you to end something so they can return back. Or they want you to end your relationship and return back to them. Well, we got two tens here. Anything else, please? The Emperor Reverse. Aries, Taurus, Leo. This is somebody who's very much noncommittal. This is somebody who wants what they want. This is someone who acts out of ego. This is somebody who doesn't stand in their power. This is somebody who fucks around on their, their wife or a partner. Yeah, juggling. Multiple options here. And they do things out of ego. Someone you're doing, you're showing yourself this way, but really it's this way. And this is what you're actually doing. And you're creating a lot of chaos. 
you know, I don't know if you want to be married or if you want to be in that commitment that you're already in. You're confused. Queen of Wands reverse, yeah. You eight bottom of the deck, we got a Queen of uh Eight of Cups reverse. We got a Queen of Wands here that's wanting to come back to you and be a third party for you. Male or female doesn't matter. Out of ego. Or you want to do this to somebody else out of ego. You want to try to make somebody jealous. Or they want to make you jealous. Or you feel like this person is always going to come back come back running to you no matter who it is. No matter what sign it is. And that is your ego. And I feel like you're if you're dealing with a Scorpio, you're wrong. Okay? You're really, really, really wrong. Okay, anything else, please? We got the tower coming. And we have the star. So there is... After the tower, there is hope and faith and healing, though. A wish has come true in some regard. Or this is the end, the, the crumbling of a wish or a dream. Scorpio, um, Aries, and Aquarius energy here. Yeah, someone's moving away from this. We got the Emperor. We also have Sagittarius and Cancer energy. Yeah. Someone's moving away from what they thought was their wishes because it's obviously not because someone's struggling here. Yeah. Empress reverse. Somebody doesn't want to. Someone's moving away from somebody. They're kind of, maybe an Empress is moving away from you. They're ending the cycle, completing it. Taurus sleeper energy, but could just be a wife or a mother figure because they don't want to be juggled. And then also this Queen of Wands here in reverse, right there, the Queen of, uh, there are the Empress here in reverse. Neither one of them will choose you. There could even be same-sex relationship here as well. It doesn't have to be. Yeah. Anything else? It's a long one. Ten of Cups. We have... Three tens now. We got ten of swords, ten of wands, and ten of cups. So you feel like you want to end this because of the burden of having a family or being tied down. There is a destruction of a family dynamic that's coming. Because of what's been, yeah, lovers reverse. Because there's, there's a breakup of a family, an ending of a contract. There's no love here. Where's the love? Gemini energy. Maybe you drop, or maybe you dropped a lover for somebody. Yeah slow to commit very pessimistic there's no happy movement forward there's no real commitment here very very slow moving energy yep and then there you go now we're back to where we started we have the six of coins we have the nine of pentacles and we have the five of pentacles so you're just what are you offering somebody you feel you're very slow it's non-existent someone feels really abandoned by you and i think they're going to drop it and i feel like whoever this third party is they're going to drop it too no matter what the sign. We have a lot of people that was in the, the first spread. So someone is tired of feeling abandoned. Truth has been spoken. Boom. There it is. Full, complete clarity. Someone's going to be ending this. Ending it. Bringing in clarity and truth. It's done. Alright, let me give you some guidance here. So... Shitty. Um, if you're doing that, you're going to be found out. If they're doing that, they're going to be found out. It's coming. It's coming to a head. It's coming to an end very, very soon. Um, let's see. Any guidance, please? Let's see. Any guidance? Any, any or a potential ending of this reading, please? A lot of secrets being kept with the 10 secret money as well. Someone really needs to listen to their higher guidance. There needs to be equal give and take here. There's no teamwork. You, someone's keeping secrets, but the divine is letting the other... Whomever the person's keeping secrets from, the divine is telling the person who's being withheld from. That there's no equal give and take. There needs to be balancing out. You go from the 10 to the 7. Well, the 3... The 3 is about teamwork working together. There's no teamwork here. Because someone's always keeping secrets, but... I feel like the divine is telling this other person. The person either you are keeping secrets from or cross watcher. If you're keeping secrets from Leo, the divine is telling them. Anything else? Potential outcome, please. 
like higher wisdom is, yeah, it's going to become public. Eight of Swords is going to make somebody feel trapped up in their head because whatever secret is being kept, where there's money, abundance, or relationship, the divine knows and sees it and is saying, this isn't fair. This is not balanced here. They're going to make it public. And you might be really worried about that or somebody else is. Someone's worried about a new beginning here or someone watching them. There could be a younger air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius involved, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn involved here. There could be a child involved. Ace of Cups. Okay, the man. Endings. Yep, someone is breaking up with a man. There needs to be transformation. Now we have the nine. Okay, equal give and take here. Someone is ending and transforming. That's This is their wish. This is destiny. Six of Cups because of the past. An ending is coming because of the past. Scorpio energy. Also Aquarius energy. This is fate. This is divine timing coming into play. There needs something that needs to be transformed here. Yeah, and then there's a bridge that's being built between the cosmos or the divine. Someone is telling somebody... Divine timing to bridge the gap. Anchor. Someone feels tied down. Someone feels they really, really have a lot of anxiety about this because they feel like somebody is just not being very stubborn. Somebody wants to free themselves from this stuff because they feel really burdened by this. Maybe you do. Yeah, Seven of Cups. There's confusion. Someone feels weighed down by confusion. By all these communication of family legacy and tree here. Where's the foundation? It's changing. There's a little... Yep, it's ending. Scorpio energy. They're rejecting an offer because time's up here. All right. Let me get you an oracle card and get it. Close it. Wow. That was kind of intense. Let's see. Any guidance, please? Any guidance, please, for my Leos regarding this reading? Your dreams in a practical plan. Full moon and Taurus could be dealing with a Taurus. Maybe you want a Taurus. Maybe there's a Taurus that wants to come back. Or maybe there's a new Taurus in your life that you want to build with instead. You also have a time to give rather than take new moon and Virgo. Could be a Virgo as well. Anything else for guidance? We have time... Take time to breathe out. So relax and bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. Could be dealing with Aquarius as well. Then we also have conclusions are within reach. Confidence is the key to success. New moon in Leo. And I think that's on August 8th, I think, or 9th. A win win outcome is forecast. We have full moon in Libra. So I need to balance this out. Yeah, a new romantic cycle begins. Yeah, you're leaving somebody for somebody else, Leo. A new start is coming, and then you have don't let pride get in your way. Yep. Yep. All right, Leos, I hope this helped. If you want to get a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit all notifications. That way you know the next time I upload. And as always, take care of yourself. Until next time, bye.